what's up guys and welcome back to the channel my name is priscilla and in this video i'm going to be answering yet another highly requested question or video so some people have asked me in the past what software do you use to edit your videos how do you edit your videos what app do you use and so on and so forth so i use adobe premiere pro to edit my videos and i use that program in combination with other adobe software programs so i use illustrator photoshop the media encoder and some other ones just to make my video kind of clear and easy to follow so if you guys like to see how i edit my video keep watching i structured this video in such a way that i went from the moment i import my clips through to maybe sizing down the kind of tools i use to make um, the videos more understandable and easy to follow so i hope you guys will find this video useful if you do please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and without further ado let's jump straight into this tutorial So the first thing to do here is to import all of the video clips that you need and as you can see I've already done that and I'm just going to create a video footage folder. So this becomes essential when it's time to create a sequence that you would put in your timeline. So I'm just dragging in all the video clips and I'm dumping them in that video footage folder and you see why it's really important later on. So once that is done, I'm going to go back into that folder and just pick a random clip. It doesn't really matter. And when you right click on that clip, we'll create a new sequence from the clip and the sequence logo or icon looks slightly different from the normal footage icon. And this is what it looks like. So once I've created that, I am going to pull that sequence out of the video footage folder and rename it as video sequence because you want to work with a sequence which should be in the timeline and not just all the movie clips like the way they are. So once that is done, I'm going to delete the, the sequence of that particular video and pull the entire video footage folder into the timeline. So this is the timeline area in the bottom right and that is where we'll be doing most of the work. So this was something that took me so long to learn but I'm glad I finally got it. So once that is all done, the next thing you need to do is to arrange your clips chronologically. So starting from my intro to my tools to the way the video is actually supposed to be arranged in such a way that when you watch it, you understand. I just make sure to do that in this arrangement part before I go down to size down my clips. So I size down my clips in two steps. So I like to increase the pace of the video. So the video normally is filmed at 100%, which is a normal rate, but I like to speed up the actions to 120%. So I just look smarter when I'm working. Sometimes I go up to 150 if I'm really slow when I was recording that video. And the next step is to cut down any irrelevant clips so parts where i wasn't doing anything or i was just taking too long doing something i'm going to grab my razor tool from this bar here and i'm just going to cut down any irrelevant parts that is not necessary for this project i like to cut down and size down and spit up as i go and i pull in the rest of the clips to meet up with the other ones before moving on to the next step so I like to add titles and descriptions at the beginning of projects. And what I do here is I click on the color mat, which is under the new items and create a color mat or a color screen. So I like to work with pinks and nudes because it's just pretty to look at. And I like to name each color I create so I don't get confused later on. So once I've created my color screen, I'm going to drag it into whatever segment I want. So for example, at this point here, I believe this was when, when I was about to show my tools. So I'm just going to go in and resize it from my effects control panel, make it a little bit transparent so you see what's going on behind the color screen. And then you add text using the type tool as you can see here. So I'm just going to write what I'm about to show to the viewer, which is the tools that I used for this project. I know it's very obvious that you know their tools, but it's a nice way to just introduce people to what you're doing and to keep them sort of indulged throughout the video. So I like to do this at the beginning of the project, during the project, and I like to work with the free style script fonts. I just believe it's, it's a way of showing consistency across all of your videos if you use uh, the same font or similar looking fonts. 
So to add descriptions, I grab the color screen again using the same color. I can create another color if I want. I just like to stick with one color once I start with it. And I pull it either to the top or the bottom half and just put it in the corner and add the description of what I'm doing at that point in time. Some people might say it's not necessary, but it just keeps your viewer stimulated while they watch your video. So if the person doesn't even have the audio on, they can still tell what you are doing because of the descriptive text that you add in the corner of the video here. So I think at this point, I was about to cut out the, the pattern block. So I just wrote cut out pattern block and you just get, oh, okay, that's what she's going to do next or that's what she's doing right now. So as at this point, I've added my titles, I've added my description. It's time for me to add my voice over. To record your voice over, you click on this tiny microphone icon here. For my voice overs, I use this Samsung speaker that I got as a present from my fiance. I find that the audio is quite clear and it just is connected straight to the computer. So all I have to do is just click on the voiceover button and speak into this microphone. But this is what my setup is usually like. I like to edit on just one screen instead of two. And this is a Windows machine and I find that it works really well whenever it's time for me to edit my videos. I believe adding background music to project just has a way of making the video enjoyable to watch and I usually just like to grab my songs from the YouTube audio library because they are usually royalty free and I don't just have to worry about anyone slamming me down with copyright claims. So once I've downloaded the track I want, I import it the same way I import my clips. I just decided to use this track right here. It's quite simple, there are no vocals and it's calming to even listen to. So I'm just going ahead to copy it into my project file because that's how Premiere likes to work. Just put everything in one folder for Premiere to be happy. So I'm going to pull the audio track into my timeline and reduce the audio because I want my voiceover track to be louder than the background music. So I like to reduce the audio to, to below 30 to below minus 30, minus 35. So it's just like that ambient music that you hear as I explain the tutorial to you. Tutorials usually take me anything from eight to 12 hours to edit, but it's usually worth it at the end of the day. Another tool I've really been enjoying is the pen tool. And what I use it to do is to draw these curved lines that help me to describe scenarios easier to someone watching the video. So if you click and drag, you just get these lines. If you take out the fill and just leave the stroke, then you can get lines that are curved and very useful when it's time to describe certain things. So there's a particular point in my previous project where I had to show a particular place and there were calculations involved and that was the tool I used to make that tiny arrow that you can see here. And I just discovered that tool recently and it's so useful. So the last thing I like to add is the end screen, which usually has my socials, my Twitter, Instagram, so on and so forth, and sort of like suggestions of videos that you should watch next. And it's very, very helpful. And it's usually 20 seconds according to YouTube recommendation. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, suggestions, or ideas, feel free to ask them down below. And until my next video, have a good morning, afternoon, and evening wherever you are. Bye. Hi to my Insta story. <laughs> you having a good time? Wow, you've like cleaned your plate. <laughs>